Senex technology and the First Look sensor present Louis Nelson from Advanced Training Systems. Using a snap-on Viriscope, Louis will demonstrate how to quickly determine the mechanical integrity of an engine using the First Look sensor by Senex technology. Now that we've got our snap-on Veris out, let's connect it to our first look and connect it to our broken vehicle. Our vehicle today happens to be a 2008 Chevrolet Impala. This particular vehicle has a 3500 V6 engine. We're going to connect to the induction side, the intake system of this vehicle with our first look sensor here and then connect the other end to our lab scopes. In this next demonstration, Louie will show you how to make a vacuum connection as well as an exhaust connection with the first look sensor. We must first find ourselves a centrally located vacuum source that covers the whole induction system. We're going to take our largest one on this particular application, this is a 2008 uh, Chevrolet Impala with a 3500 engine, going to the brake booster, pulling it off the brake booster, and then being able to take our adapter, making sure we have a nice snug fit. This now couples it up so that our sensor samples the vacuum within this induction system. With our first look connected to our BNC coupling here, we're going to take and compress these springs backward. This is going to allow us to stick it into the tailpipe. And so it'll stay. And you just gently insert it. Now, depending on the exhaust system and its quality, you may require to put rags, wet preferably, into it. Then it allows the pressure in the system to be more sensed. Next, Louis demonstrates a bad cranking waveform on the problem vehicle using the snap-on scope to confirm the ODB code. In this case, a PO300 random multiple cylinder misfire detected code as an accurate representation of what is wrong with this vehicle. But, as you will see by the waveform produced, we have a loss of pressure that repeats itself. This indicates we have a mechanical problem with the engine and not a misfire, as the PO300 code suggested. Now with our Varus, we're going to take a sample of a problem child here, broken vehicle. Let's take a look. Go ahead and crank. As you can see from the waveform and the pattern, that it's not sinusoidal. It doesn't move evenly and smooth. It isn't continuously repeating. It's got a flaw located right here. This means a mechanical problem within our waveform. That means the pressures transferring through the cylinders are uneven. So we need to investigate and repair this. In this next demonstration, Louis will perform a cranking vacuum waveform test to show you what a repaired vehicle's good waveform should look like when using the snap-on scope. Now with our Varus, we're going to take a sample of the repaired vehicle from a vacuum waveform. Go ahead and crank. Now that we've got our Varus sample up on the screen, you can see that our cylinders are all equal in pressure. This means that our vehicle is repaired. Now that we've diagnosed the PO300 within our vehicle as a mechanical fault, you can see how the first look paired with the Varus snap-on scan tool here works in diagnosing this particular type of complaint. Hope you enjoyed our demonstration. Thank you again. If you have questions for Mr. Nelson, he can be reached by using the information shown here. If you have questions regarding the Snap-on Veriscope, please contact Snap-on by using the information on your screen. For more information about Senex technology and the First Look sensor, including how to obtain sensor kits and manuals for performing diagnostics on either spark plug or diesel engines, please visit our website.